Hello guys, this is Just One Guy, and this is my tutorial series, Unity for Noobs. Now, today's tutorial, we're going to do a grenade. Now, my tutorial series, if you haven't noticed already, I like to do a lot of tutorials that you can use for other projects, and not just for this specific project. And not only is this uh, tutorial going to teach you how to make a grenade, but it's also going to teach you how to do area effect damage. Now, let's get into it. Now, first thing you're going to notice is, is I created a new prefab, which is this grenade. Now, I'm going to get into the Pacific, uh, Pacifics later, but for now, I'm just going to show off how it works. Now, we have uh, two scripts, one grenade launcher and one uh, the actual grenade for doing the damage and everything else. And it's basically just to launch the grenade like that, and it hits it. Now, it's important to note that that little bounce thing, that's not my script. That's the actual uh, prefab explosion that, uh, in Unity 5. My explosion is, I mean, uh, my script is just doing damage on both of the enemies. Now, I set it up so you won't actually see it, uh, the damage in a health bar because I couldn't figure out a good way to do that. But it is actually doing damage. And I'll show it in a minute. If you look at the health bars, that one 20. And this one is at 22. It's damaging them both at the same time. If I do it enough, they'll die. And that's basically it. Now let's get to the scripts. Now this is also set up to work with my health bar. And I'll put a link into that uh, that I went over in my other video. Uh, let's find the grid first, the first person controller. Now we have this uh, script called Grenade Launcher and it has a throw point and the forward amount of force we want to throw with and the force that we want the grenade to go up with now this is just the the controller arc of the grenade how it goes across like that and you could play with these values just to see uh what's right for you or you could uh what's the name do it by script so each throw is different but it needs to throw point too that's where the grenade is created at and uh and basically moves from now the important thing about the uh, the throw point is, let me just uh, go over here a minute. I believe I put it. I put it in the main camera, but it's important that you put the throw point somewhere where it won't hit the uh, hit the character or the gun. That's why I put it right here. But you got to make sure the grenade won't hit the gun or the uh, character, because if it does, the grenade will destroy itself. And I think that's it for that script. And then we have this grenade script right here. Now, this just has the enemies. This is uh, all the enemies collected into an array. And then it calls the damage enemy function on them. This is the amount of damage you want to do. This is the damage radius of the grenade. Like how uh, how far we want the grenade to go out. Now, I set it from code to, I believe, 5. But you can set it uh, to something else. This is the uh, particle effect. Which... Uh, we're using a, U, uh, a Unity prefab one. Now it's important to note that this uh, particle effect is uh, part of the standard package, which is why, why I used it. But it also comes with this uh, explosion physical force. Now that's what's making enemies pop up and go back. Now this also has a value which you can use to uh, control how far the enemies fly back and stuff like that. Uh, let me go back to the grenade. And then we just have the uh, rigid body of the grenade. I'm going to make that a private later because we don't really need to see that. It just uh, stops the grenade from flying forward after it hits something. Now let's go into the actual scripts. Now first we have the uh, grenade launcher. We have the uh, prefab for the grenade which is the game object. We have the uh, throw point which uh, we're going to extend the grenade from and push it forward from. The amount of force we want to push it forward and the amount of force we want to push it up. Now this is all commented out, but I set it up to where you press the right uh, mouse button, it just creates the grenade, and then it sets it to active. The reason I put this in here is maybe if you wanted to create, if you are uh, using a person, you want to create the grenade in their hand, and you wouldn't want an active grenade in their hand. You want them to throw the grenade and then it to become active. That way it wouldn't damage the character, uh, the character throwing it. That's just uh, set up just in case you want to do it. Uh, if you want to take this script and advance it a little more and this is the uh, 
the the what's uh the function to add force to the grenade we're using add relative force you have to use add relative force or else it uh it'll add the force in world space and it won't add it to, uh relative to the character and it's uh doing force mode impulse i believe that's the one just to create a uh an explosion type of force then we have the grenade script now we just have all the enemies that uh we want to damage this is this is going to gather every collider that the explosion hits but then it's going to filter it out by uh tag uh the ones tagged with player and enemy which i'll get into later down here and then we have the damage amount how much damage you want to do to the enemy and then we have the damage radius which is how far we want the explosion to go out and then we have the particle effect that we're gonna uh instantiate after it explodes and then we have the rigid body just to stop the force this just gets the rigid body and then we have the actual damage enemy enemy function and it just takes a game object finds the health bar and then calls the uh, uh just current health uh by the damage amount and then we have this function right here which is on trigger or enter it just takes a collider and it's one of the unity functions and then it creates the explosion i mean no it instantiates the uh explosion effect and then it gives it two seconds to be destroyed then it stops the velocity this is so if the grenade hits the ground or a person it just doesn't bounce off them and go in in a crazy direction or something and then we have the enemies now we're using the uh overlap spear function and i was using a different uh a different way to do it before but i figured this was better and this is also what the uh the explosion physical force that unity puts on their uh, particle effects uses but this just gathers up all the uh, colliders that this hits. Now it takes a, a, a vector three where once it, where once the uh, spear to start, the the uh, collider spear to start the uh, to get all the colliders, and then it takes a a float, which will tell it how this will tell it how far to go out. And then later on, I'm gonna put the uh, the damage uh, radius in here, and that'll tell the explosion how far to go out, and all the colliders. Uh, in this uh, uh, caption in the explosion, we call a dam damage enemy function. And we filter that out by checking for people tagged player and NPC. It only damaged uh, people called player or NPC. It won't damage anybody else. And then finally, it just destroys the game object immediately. This is to make sure it doesn't do any more extra damage or does anything extra. And if it doesn't hit a person, it'll just wait one second and then it'll destroy. And that's about it. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to suggest a tutorial, please suggest a tutorial in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.